going you guys welcome back to Danny TV if you are new on the channel hit that subscribe button to rock with the channel today we are working on the 2014 Chevy Silverado and we did get some 33 inch tires mounted up I don't know yet we might size up and go with 34s but the truck is sitting pretty good let me know what you guys think about these OEM style wheels I kind of like the factory stock look but we might just go ahead and send it and get some aftermarket ones let me know your thoughts down in the comments and I know in a previous episode I said we weren't going to be repairing this hood but after not having any luck finding a used one locally and it being like 900 bucks at the dealer we decided to go ahead and build up some more bodywork skills and get this one repaired so stay tuned jump on the hood and get that repaired i do want to take a minute and reach out and thank our sponsor today's episode is sponsored by easy auto which is an online company that sells on amazon if you are interested in some of their products check out the links in the description anyways they do support the channel they hooked us up with some all-weather floor mats for the 2014 chevy silverado check this out look how massive this is this is a driver front it's definitely going to cover up a whole lot more carpet than the original ones did and I also do like the design on these, like the bolt pattern and all these ridges. It's really going to help trap all the mud, sand, dirt, water, snow, whatever you're going through. And it's also got the original locking tabs right over here. And then if we flip over the back, it's got the cleats on the back, which when everything settles in, it's not really going to walk around on you. So this is a well-designed product. Let's go ahead and install it on the truck and see how well it fits. Got the mats installed and they fit really nicely in the truck. I know it doesn't really match the interior, but we're still going to use them. Check out that fitment. I really like how all the edges are tapered up to have the indention of the floor. Here's the driver's side. And check out how big they are. I really like the way they go past the pedals and underneath the dash. That's definitely going to help keep this interior a whole lot cleaner. Here in the back, you have this large one-piece mat that runs all the way across Here's the size of the OEM one, so you definitely get a lot more protection. This is a really good product. I'm definitely going to have to order some for the Ram 2500. So if you are interested in getting some of these all-weather mats for your car, check out the link in the description. Anyways, with that said, let us know on what color leather we should do the seats in if we were to redo them. I was thinking about doing this dark brown. Let me know what you think down in the comments. For now, I hope you enjoyed the rest of the episode. We already got some body filler on some of the bigger damages. My brother got started on that while I was working on the Ram. Now I'm going to go ahead and take this DA, get the hood all sanded with the 180, just to see if we have any other smaller damages and get some of these deeper scratches out. Then we'll slap some glazing on all the filler, then primer after that. So let's go. All right, boys, so we got the hood all sanded down. All the body work is nice and smooth. So let's go ahead and mix up some glazing, slap it on, get that sanded, and then we'll be ready for some primer. What's up guys next day here and we got the hood all prepped for primer so let's go ahead and mix them up and slick this in
right guys, so while the primer dries on the hood, before we reinstall the bed on the truck, we are gonna clean this frame up. As you can see, some of the surface rust, but it's not too bad. We're gonna go ahead and knock all the loose rust scales off, and then we're gonna spray it down with some of this Ospho acid, which is supposed to stop the rust and prep the surface for painting. We're gonna let this settle overnight, and then we'll catch you guys in the morning. Alright boys, so the frame is nice and clean. I got it pressure washed this morning. It's nice and dry. Now let's go ahead and tape up some of these wires and then we'll be ready for some paint. So the paint's nice and dry and we got the bed all set up on the lift so let's go ahead and throw it on the truck and get this rear end complete Let's go, let's go ahead and start backing this truck up and get this bed on. So the bed is on the truck. Now we're gonna go ahead and replace this inner panel that holds the grill. We've got a few broken tabs right over here. We're gonna go ahead and open it up, make sure it's not cracked or anything before we start tearing this front end apart.
us up, guys. <laughs> what is going on here? I thought I gave him the VIN number and everything. And look at what came in. Dang, the Steelership done got us this time. Yeah, I don't even know what this is. It says Chevy LD right there. I'm going to look at that part number. But this is definitely not the panel that we need. So we're going to go ahead and return this tomorrow. For now, we did get some spacers in for the truck. Which are right over here. Here we have the two inch Titan wheel spacers. We're gonna install on the truck. I don't really like how the wheel kind of tucks in on the fender, so this should do the trick. Let's go ahead and get these installed on the truck. All right, guys, that's a wrap for this episode. We got the truck pretty much ready for inspection. We just have a few more miscellaneous things to take care of, like this front bumper, which we did get one on order, but it was the wrong one. It came in with the sensors, and ours isn't equipped with that, and it is on back order right now, so we decided to go ahead and order a custom one. Stay tuned for that. With all this said, thank you guys for all the love and support. If you are new on the channel, hit that subscribe button and turn on your post notifications to follow our builds. Follow us on Instagram at danny.tv. The link is in the description. Let me know your thoughts and suggestions down in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching till the end. I'm out. I'll catch you in the next one.